Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Block by Block. Today we are going to talk about the transposer and pneumatic tubes. These two things go hand in hand. So basically pneumatic tubes are a system in red power for getting an item from one inventory to another. Now here I'm using chests, but it can also be things like furnaces, dispensers, anything and any mod that happens to have an inventory that you can connect to you're rolling. So the way this works is you have an item in a chest, you attach a transposer to it, when you give the transposer a redstone signal that item will get sent out into the next chest in the system. Now uh, a side note about transposers, they are not just for pulling items out of inventories, they will also suck items up off of the ground. So if I put that item on the ground and activate that transposer, you'll see it gets put into the chest here. Now, I like to call the red power pipe smart. So if I break this pipe here and activate the transposer, you'll see an item doesn't come out, and also the texture gets stuck in the back position, whereas before this little brown bar was forward, now it's stuck back here. Basically, that item it just stuck out is stuck inside of the transposer waiting for the next available inventory. So as soon as I put that pipe down, it will shoot the item out and that texture will go back to its original state. So if we just pop a transposer down and take a look at its texture, you'll see there are three distinct features to it. There's this big plus sign, the small circle, and these little brown bars on the side. This big plus sign is the side that goes into the inventory and the end that sucks things up off of the ground. This little circle is what you connect to an inventory or a pipe. You can actually, if I just place this transposer here like this and put a button on it, throw something on the ground, it'll suck it up and it will just put it in this inventory right here. It doesn't necessarily have to be connected to a pipe, it can go directly into different inventories. And then there's also this little brown texture. You'll notice that when I activate a redstone signal, it goes back and then goes forward again. That is basically what signifies whether or not there's an item stuck inside of the transposer currently. So if I just break this pipe again, you'll see that when the item goes in there, that brown texture gets stuck in the back position towards the pipe. So when the brown texture is back this way, it's waiting to output into a pipe. And then when it has the chance to release it, it does. And then that little brown bar goes towards the inventory, which means it's waiting to take something out of the inventory. And now an important thing to know about how these work is whenever you send an item down a pneumatic tube into a power line, it is always going to go to the first available inventory. So if I hit this right here, it's going to go to this chest right here. And no matter how many times I click it, it's not random, it's just always going to go to the first available inventory, like so. Now if I come in here and take all this out and I fill it up with chests, clearly we can't put cobble in here. That would just be silly. So what this is going to do is send it to the next available inventory. Can't go in this chest, so it's going to go ahead and send it down the line into this chest. And there's our piece of cobble. So that is our very basic overview of pipes and the first basic block that we have in Red Power for working with pipes and item moving, and that is the transposer. So uh, I hope you guys found this video useful, and I will check you out the next block by block. Toodles!